Robert Mueller, former special counsel for the Department of Justice and director of the FBI, publicly testified today in front of the House Judiciary and House Intelligence Committees about his report investigating Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election. I'm Kara Peters, WUVA. We did not reach a determination as to whether the president committed a crime. Mueller reiterated that, although he and his team did not find enough evidence of obstruction of justice to prosecute President Trump, this does not mean he is exonerated. He added that Trump could potentially be indicted after he leaves office, since the Department of Justice cannot legally indict a sitting president. He did not make the case for impeachment. House Democrats focused on getting Mueller to elaborate on instances within the report that could indicate obstruction of justice by the president, as well as the Trump administration's attempts to interfere in the investigation. Republicans, on the other hand, were more interested in proving that the overall report was a partisan effort due to the Mueller team's alleged biases against Trump. Mueller either deferred or declined to answer questions over 200 times during the hearings. However, he defended the integrity of his report against accusations that were untrustworthy. I don't think you have re uh, reviewed a report that is as thorough, as fair, as consistent as the report that we have in front of us. The testimony ended around 3 p.m. on July 24, 2019. Although it remains unsure as to whether Mueller's testimony will affect the Trump administration in the near future, Mueller warned that Russian interference within the government is an issue that impacts every American. Over the course of my career, I have seen a number of challenges to our democracy. The Russian government's effort to interfere in our election is among the most serious. And as I said on May 29th, this deserves the attention of every American.